How y'all are? It is Sunday, November 17th, 2024. I know it's been a while since I've been on video. Um, I know I made a few videos that were structured, and it's been a, quite a long time since I made a freeform video, and I'm sorry. I've been feeling horribly disgusted with my appearance in the last half of the year. But, um, I'm here now, and I hope you enjoyed my Necromantia videos. I had a lot of fun making those. I had a lot of fun uh, talking with the author and my friend on some of the stuff in the book to give to you. Um, just the other day, we had a conversation on can you use necromancy on a ghost? Interesting stuff. But, uh, what I'm here today is to talk about I will be working with a new goddess. I will be working with um, quite a bit of a surprise. I'm going to be working with Lilith. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm going to be working with Mother Lilith. Uh, I was approached by her again uh, back in October. Uh, fresh off the heels of reading Whispers of the Jinn by Michael W. Ford. which has a few parts here and there talking about Wolf and the demoness Lamashtu. Uh, she came to me and she said that um, I'm going to be working with her. She's going to be working with me. Uh, the number one rule is that uh, I am just a disciple. Uh, she will not be my main patron goddess. For that is Ereshkigal, and she said that. In the same vein of Ishtar. And I'm okay with this. No problems there. I know I made a video prior talking about that she would work with me if a Luciferian ritual needed her. But that was about it. But, um... She kind of changed her mind. And... Well, here we are. So... I picked up the follow-up to Whispers of the Jinn, Lilith and Lamashtu. Uh, this is Grimoire based on both of them, and um, it's not a book review, because I really haven't started yet, but uh, Mr. Ford's books are getting a little bit more uh, space saving because Whispers of the Jinn is just like this so uh, I figured it's a follow up to Whispers of the Jinn quoted by Mr. Ford as it deals with some parts of it as I said and plus this is more aimed at Lilith So, that's also good. Uh, Lamashtu, on the other hand. Uh, that one's going to be kind of tricky. Because if you know anything, if you're a pagan, a 
pagan witch or a witch that knows their stuff worth your salt you know that Lamashtu and Pazuzu are kind of like that they uh mortal enemies so to speak so to say so and since I work with Pazuzu it's uh, we're just going to take it slow on that but Wolf on the other hand that's fine so needless to say that um I will be diving into this real soon. Um, it's about like 228 pages. Goes over the history. Um, gives you a lot of information. And then it goes into, you know, the magic part. If you've ever read a Michael W. Ford book, you know what I'm talking about. And then, I didn't make a video posting it, but I made it on my Instagram and my Facebook where I bought a blank journal for Lucifer. But this time, I just bought it the other day. And it came really quick. Um, it came on Friday, but I bought a blank journal for Lilith. Uh, this one's red kind of wish they had lucifers and red but um, what can you do but uh, so I got me a blank journal it's hardcover um, it's kind of small but it's going to be a journal it's going to be a grimoire um, this one's going to be directly with all my wheelings and dealings with Lilith herself so that's a good thing. And then... What was it? Tuesday? It was either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I forget which. Uh, I think it was Tuesday, actually. I went out and... I was going to go to my local witchy shop, but... One of them was closed, and I was kind of sad. So I went to my other one, the Inner Path. And I perused their statuary section. Because I was wanting to get a statue of Lilith. And I was not happy with the ones that I was seeing. Um, I'm a man who appreciates beauty and art... But the ones that I was finding online just were kind of ugly. And just way too priced. To... I mean, it's just... I mean, I get, you know, you can only do so much work on a statue, but... It's just, come on. they kind of made her look like a hag. So, I figured, why don't I go in person? Shouldn't be that hard. So, get comfortable here. So, I go to the inner path as a backup, and I check out the statuary. They had this really big, beautiful one that I wanted, but it was, like, way more than I was willing to pay. But they also had another one that uh, I kind of fell in love with. But in the end, I said, give me a sign for what one that you want. And well, my friends, this one. She chose this one. And... I'm quite happy with that, because I also like this one as well. Uh, she told me that 
she appears in various forms to various people. Uh, blonde, red, black haired, which is the way my mind's eye always pictured her with black hair. But she said, you know, purple, silver, whatever. And she's also known as the Lady in Red. Uh, in the, um, so, uh, I like this. This is going to represent Samael, and overall, I think it's gorgeous. This is what I'm talking about in beauty. But, um, that's it for this video. Um, I have another video going over a uh, seance that I did. Uh, on the 13th of November and that one's going to be more of a sad video than a happy video but um, if you have any questions comments and or concerns please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below if you want to come find me my links are in the description and uh, with that I want to say that I'm virtually new to working with Lilith, and um, any help is appreciated. So, with that, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Cool Runnings, IRE Ites.